We can just leave her here, though. This is her happy place. She wouldn't mind. I do like it here. See? Yeah. Told you. Today is May 3rd. 20. 21. Monday. She doesn't know. She doesn't work anymore. She doesn't need to know. Oh, today's the first day I took pain pills in a long time, so. Did you overdo it yesterday? Oh, I thought you said, did you overdose? I was like, no, I took half an ibuprofen. I didn't overdose. Uh, Yeah. Yeah. Were you supposed to overdo it yesterday? Well, but I felt okay. Suspicious. Suspicious oh, face. I won't be doing that again. She doesn't feel okay today. No, I so don't. we're going to try to do this a little quick, but we have lots to talk about. Life stuff will put it to end. As always. Well, sometimes we mix it in, but yeah. that, I, I'm sorry, but you're going to see me looking at weird stuff. Cause that's Just, look Just look at the stop. Just look at the stop. It's weird. Just look at the stop. We have whip share. We do have a whip share, which I have not looked at yet. This one was actually from October 2020 when she sent it, so I'm guessing she's done by now. I don't Oops. know. I'm still like the wheels so slow. And we are running oh, out. I think there's only like maybe eight, so um, oh. send you the whips. Please. Stitching at the cabin at gmail.com. Says so picture of your whip, what it's supposed to look like, or a link to what it's supposed to look like, anything you want to say. And, and then this, the famous wheel will decide. Yes. This. Is Becky's Madness for Crafting, mm -hmm. and it is United We Stand. I love it. She didn't tell me anything about it, so I don't know. I do like it. She has a foster channel. She knows I can't watch the ones where she drives because I get close sick, so I can only listen. Especially on double speed or yeah. whatever. Yeah. yeah. So a lot of them she drives and talks to you, and I, I can't watch because I, I get close sick. But when she does them at home, I can watch. So... Anyway, Ooh. I like it, Becky. If you finished it, let me know. And I did get your email where you sent another one, and I love that one. I can't wait for the wheel to spin it. Oh, pasties. <laughs> but anyone that's emailed anything, and I have not responded or commented, I tried to comment back today just now. It's because I'm not sitting in the office. Sitting up straight is uncomfortable, so... I'm much more comfortable reclining, and I don't have any devices where I'm comfortable typing long things. So, yeah, just know that I care, I appreciate it, I've read it all. I'm just bad about responding. But she will eventually, even if it's three months late, she will. I think I've, I'm all caught up on responding now, I think. So if, if you are watching this and you didn't get a response to something, send whatever it is again or remind me, because maybe I, I mean, I flagging things for three weeks now, so it could have got lost in the flags. There's a hundred and something flags and I don't mean to shoot you along, but unless you want to sit yeah. here for forty minutes, yeah, it's time to jump into keto. I haven't done much with keto, keto because um I haven't been sitting up here stitching. So this is not a trick this time. No, that really, really is. that really is just a little bit. Well, the bottom of the page uh, is just right there, and I should finish that tomorrow morning. Look at the probably. zoom power, though. Oh, look at that! Look, you guys can look up close, and it zooms like it focuses. Woo! You get to see all the wonky stitches and the dog food. Now you get to see what these projects really look oh, like. Oh boy! Well, they went out of you. Sound show. quality went down, but <laughs> stitchy quality went up. Well, oh. pictures of stitchy quality went up. We're trying this on an oh. iPad, so. Yeah, sounds probably not good. I don't know, we'll see. Oh, wow, that hurts my ulcer. If the sound's bad, we'll figure something out. You just have to stick with uh, us till we get it perfect, which will be, you know, Episode 123 now. is when I plan for everything to work out great. I'm going to put this back so that you can oh. see it, but also it covers that glare so that you don't yeah. see. It's windy. I think if it was not windy, you probably would not see, but I have the windows open and... Yeah. Everything's going. Wee -wee 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 -wee. About how many things do you have? So I know when to throw mine in. I had just show keto. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more. Okay. So those occasional. Mm, I'm okay. 
we're both in pain, but yours, <laughs> okay. yours is like validated. Mine is just, I don't know what's wrong. Okay, um, go ahead and do another one. Or hand me another one. Whatever makes you happy. I need to start so late. This is Hyacinth. I've been spinning the wheel. I've been changing every two or three days because I'm, I'm just downstairs all the time now sitting in it. I can see my eye. Oh my God. <laughs> um, sitting in the recliner down there. I thought I was going to sit in this recliner all the time, but I don't like being alone up here. So I want to, I, I, You're less since alone since I had surgery, I'm very emotional about like everything. And like, I need to be with people and like, I'm not depressed or anything. I just, I cry easily. Like I didn't tell you we were leaving Friday to go to the cabin. And we got a few feet. And I oh, started crying. I, know. I could tell you were about to yeah, cry when you were leaving, I was, and I just didn't say anything because I, I didn't want to okay. make it worse. <laughs> and then Dad asked me a question, and then I started crying, and they couldn't answer me. He looked over, he's like, Are you okay? And I was like, Yeah, I'm just emotional. He's like, Do you want to go back? We can go back. Oh, you don't no. have to. We don't have to go on. I like, no, I'm, I'm okay. <laughs> so I'm just really emotional. I think my ovaries need to kick back in. But my whole point was that I've been stitching downstairs now that I'm able to stitch more. So I got bought a lottery stand that's down there. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and uh, so it's right by the recliner. The sofa was supposed to come this morning, and now it's going to be another month. So good thing I got to recline it. So I did spin this one day. I'm not spinning for you guys, but... Um, <laughs> that would mean a video every day. Yeah, it's stitch mania. So I did mostly his beaky. His beaky. I did more beak, and then I did a bunch over here and down here. I love him. He's a good looking bird. He is a good looking birdie. And I like the gecko rouge thingies now that I separated them because they were all tied together with this thing. Mm. And now, see the thread cards, now that I've separated them from each other, it works a lot better. Good. So, oh, no. yeah, it's okay. That's just a plug thread. It's somewhere longer than others. Suspicious. Heavy, mama. Suspicious. Suspicious. If you want to see mommy, like I always say, Kevin, the actual live hyacinth that we have, the very end of episode one. Or you can go on a treasure hunt and try to find it in the last 10 episodes, 15 episodes, 20 episodes. 20 episodes. <laughs> Sometime in the last two. I was like, it was really recent, but then when you think about it, I'm like, hmm? I think it was around the time of Coney's first egg, or maybe second egg. I don't know. Apparently that wasn't, that's the new story. Oh, yeah. This was not. Um, Jemima, the rocking stitcher, yes. and I started this together. And I told her, I messaged her the other day and said, hey, I'm working on it, you're not married. That may not have been what I said, but I did tell her I was working on it. I have almost finished the first squid. Almost. Yeah, you have. All the stuff you're not supposed to do yet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm not supposed to do the border yet. In the middle of those flowers, some of them, there's a bunch of uh, French knots. And you know I don't do French yeah. knots. And uh -huh. they're supposed to be in the color 762. So what are you going to do? So I went to uh, the internet, the webs, the interwebs. The interwebs, yes. I went to the interwebs. I've and heard I of that place. And I googled Mill Hill Conversion 762. Beads! And I bought those when I had to buy other That's things. Cute. So I'm making her do all this showing because... It's very uncomfortable for me to lean. Plus, I have a five pound weight limit, which I swear everything weighs five pounds. Yeah. Like, everything I pick up, I'm like, oh, that has to be more than five pounds. Um, I opted to work on Universe in a Jar this week. Actually, really just this weekend, mostly. And then I got like 600 stitches in. But what my main goal was and what I achieved is that I got to the far right end of um, the entire project. So, here is Universe in a Jar, Randall Spangler, and this line right here is where uh, the end of the project is. So this is all my extra fabric, and so we know for sure, at least on one dimension, it fits, which is early. I couldn't see it. Yeah. Because there's a piece of paper right there <laughs> to keep you from looking so at it. So is that the end over here? Is yep. that what you were saying? Yep. That's it. To everyone but me. Yeah. So like there's like, you know, this, the railing I had to fill in right here. And so I opted to just finish this out and then go back up here and then I'll fill all this in and then fill it out and then how come down you, here and fill it up. How are you not working on this right now? Like, I don't know. you're so close to getting to the edge. To get a whole page row done. That'd be pretty cool. And then are you going to drop back down and come this way? No. Or are you going to go back down that way? I'm probably going to come back over here. Even though I have this cool globe to do. Um, 
it's just start, it gets confusing when you start working on a bunch of projects in a bunch of different directions. So like reading time, I'm working bottom left to right, but I'm kind of going up. So you have that up dimension. This you're going down and right. So if I were to also go down and left, like that's a whole nother direction I'm going. I don't know. I could, I guess. I use one. Yes. Can My keto tell? is the one that I'm doing. Did I, did I show you close up? I don't know what I did, but there you go. I haven't been taking pictures of anything. I'm so excited with this that I forgot that I'm supposed to be taking photos. Do I need to pull that bell pull back out? Please tell me no. <sighs> no, I'll just take screenshots from this. Okay, because that took me a while to get that back in there. Yeah, I'll just take screenshots. It'll be fine. Okay, um, I'm really not going to see much difference with this. And I don't even know that you need a before and after because I only got a couple of strands in yesterday. Okay. When we got back from the cabin. And I intended to work on it today, but then I changed my mind. And you do what your heart desires. Not really. Language just, of the flowers I was not a <laughs> change stuff. Those would manage the language of the flowers. This is um, probably 28 count sand. I was going to say sand. Past. I just can't remember if it was 28 or 32, but I think it's 28. 28's my sweet spot. I like 28 Lugana. Look at that. So, what'd you do? <laughs> Here we go. Um, over here, I did a little bit there, a little bit there, some stuff there, a little Red bit penis. there. Yeah, well, some of it was there, but like I put your green in and, and um, I started down there. Mostly, I ended up putting it in, because you had done the pattern keeper thing for yeah. me, so it's in pattern keeper, but I had it on the tablet up here instead of the one that I traveled with, so I had to put it on that one. Can we just take a so, moment to appreciate how beautiful this is? Because I think on this camera, you can really tell how beautiful these colors are. And that is pretty dang cool. It looks really good. Thank you. I love that one. Very good job. It's just, I decided not to work on it today, even though I was going to, because I, I had to fit everything in that I wanted to do. But also, because it's so stop, start, stop, start, it's not like blocks. It took, was oh, taking yeah. a little more concentration that I felt like I could give. Yeah, I was a little fair. worried about messing stuff up, so I thought it would be best Oof. not to do bad things. I agree. I found, even though I'm not taking the drugs mostly, except for today, and that's just ibuprofen, yeah. I found I think I'm foggier mm -hmm. than I was before. I'm hoping that clears foggier up. Foggier but... since doing your job, too. <laughs> Multiple times today, somebody's like, hey, you remember this thing? I'm like, ah. I mean, I know it was a thing, but I couldn't give you any details on the thing. I don't know. That's how I feel all the time. It's like too much stuff in my stuff head. Stuff has fallen out of my memory. Yeah. People ask me stuff. I'm like, I don't remember that at all. I know. I agree. And the guys at work will say, well, what about this thing we talked about last week? And I'm like, could you be more specific? Because they don't realize that there's four locations. Yeah. So they're just calling from one. And like, why don't you remember this one thing, this one <laughs> this location? This was the thing that occupied all day. It's like there's 17 employees all talking to you and they all need different things. And then you've got vendors and customers and like people don't realize that you have all this stuff in your head. Yeah. I have stuff in my head. I'm not excited about this one. <laughs> that's, all. that's all I'm going to say. I am. Um, I worked on this this weekend. She threatened me. She sent me threatening text messages. I stitched on Saturday 700 and something stitches on it. She's like, oh, you were just putting in pattern keeper there. I was like, no, I did that the day before. That was thousands of stitches. These stitches are so big that 700 is like half the blanket. You know what? And that was just Saturday. I did some Sunday too. But you know the thing is? These stitches are massive and it's, it's full of the two. Mm -hmm. So it's thick and they're huge. When I went back to Language of the Flowers, it was so tiny yeah. and dainty. And yeah. like, man, I thought I was going to break it. Like, oh, yeah. Oh, Isn't it different? Different beasts. You can tell since it's in a tote bag that it's not small. No, it's not. What you stitched isn't a little bit either. It really doesn't look like I did anything. You're going to be shocked at how little it looks like I did. It looks like mine. Nah. Except you did more back stitching. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to like I was yank that mostly out of your working hand. on the P. You have any P stem problems? No, because you put it in Pavlin okay. Keeper, the show. Yep. Um, you got lucky with that so one. Yeah, I did most of the P, and then I found out I did have an issue with a belly that I had to take out and put back in, and yep. I was doing that. And then I've done some more over here. Okay, you haven't surpassed me yet, but you're no. getting really close. One no, more. You have like one more session, and that's you have it. Like, I have an E and some more border I was gonna done, say, you have like that's it. P, P-E-A. I have like Yeah, P. I might have A. 
And I didn't finish the bottom of the piece. Do you yet. enjoy doing the snowflakes? I like them, but it, uh, variegated always makes me notice that I'm doing it in a way that's going to have to pull four out or two no, out. No, just two. <laughs> but, you know, you well, can't. I don't know if you've thought about it. You uh -huh. probably have, but um, see, this is variegated DMC. It's fully 20. Tropical waters. Tropical waters. It's full of the two. So you use foil when you do that. And excuse me. So I just pull out two and then leave the other foil. But then I was looking at those other two and I'm like, I'm never going to match those other two to another two. So this is like super wasteful. So then I was thinking, how am I going to match? I'm going to have to find a way to match up some of them. Yeah, Unless I, just, I, just... I just take the extra two from the other one that I pull. and Even though they don't line up right? They line up close enough. Okay. I don't know. We'll see. I mean, I'm not... I'm not cheap enough that like I couldn't spend another like yeah, but then I feel bad that those were one. the two that like didn't make it. Like we bought your the skein to use on this project, and they're like woohoo, and then like those two get separated out, and they're like, that's it. Like you're just gonna so stitch not use that me? thing from Woohoo Stitches that I stitched that spring. It had tropical yeah. water in it. <laughs> that's true, but does it need that much tropical water? No, probably not. It needs some. So I just match it up. It's fine. It's this good. This is the afghan. Oh, this is going to look like this. <laughs> Christmas Village Afghan from Stony Creek. This I put in Pattern Keeper. This. You can get the... Was the bane of my existence. <laughs> you can get the book from um, 1, 2, 3, Stitch, I think. Yeah. Or you can get it from Stony Creek, but the fabric comes from Stony Creek. Yeah. So, I'm yeah. just going to fold it, and you know what? I'm sorry if it's not your folded way, but... It's nice having foils because you could still do a loop start, but it's still, it's yeah. so big compared to, it's still recording up there, right? Yeah, probably. Let me check. Oh, uh, yep. 17 minutes. Okay. Okay. Um, I have one more whip and three finishes. Okay. Then you know what? Do your one more whip. Well, it's a new start, so I don't know if that Yeah, it's okay. Go ahead and do it. I lost fun? it. Are you enjoying it? This has a little bit of a story. I had showed this before, that I bought it on 1884 Stitchery, and that I bought it because um, Dina, half stitch, is stitching it, and it's pretty, <laughs> and I saw it on 1884, and it was cheap, and so I was like, okay. I'll buy that. Well, then I had asked you guys, should I start it? Should I not start it? And some people said yes, some people said no. And I was like, okay, I, I won't start it. I, I'll behave. And then I, I don't, I think it was over a month ago, but I didn't see it till last week because yeah. I'm really behind on floss tube. Dina said she'd make me a deal. She said, if I start this project, she has a chatelaine that I also have. She would do that with me if I did this with her. You guys know how I feel about chatelaines. How could I say no to that? So I bought the fabric last week and some accoutrement, accoutrements, accoutrements. I bought all this stuff. I bought fixins, stitch yep. and fixins for this. So mermaid from Teresa Wensler. This I also put in pattern. Keeper. Let me show you something in here because the pattern can slide right out now. <laughs> now, look at all this that is floss. The floss list. It's not really as much floss as it appears. It is that it's blended. A lot of blends. A lot of blends. And if you'll notice, it's not like there's a list of these are the colors you need and how many you need. It's just everything all blended together. So I had to sit and like go through it all and then like arrange it. So there might be like 18 instances of like 435 in there. And yeah. you just got to find them all to see what they're blended with. But I started this today. And this is why I did not look on Language of the Fathers today because I wanted to start this. Right. Which didn't go super And the needle mine but... is... Jemima, the rocking stitcher's mm. fault because she had showed that a while ago and I bought it and yeah. <laughs> that is oh yeah. That is the Z mermaid. That is now, so cute. It calls for one odd fiber. It wants one zero three for 
and clean the toilet, which is really on good. So I tried that today. <laughs> Those little white things. Oh, yeah. This is slippery stuff and it does not behave. Just trying to line no. it up to do a loop stuff. It kept, I had to do it like three or four times before I finally got it to sit in there. Yeah. So I only used a really short piece because I wasn't sure how it was going to go. Yeah. So it's in there. It's in there. Little white stuff. Dina didn't have it and so she used DMC at all. And I think she's probably getting about the same effect with it. And hers is going to be easier to do. So I probably should have done that. I but mean, it's not that much to pull out if no, you want to No, I switch. bought this and I had to buy it from uh, another country because I couldn't find it in the U.S. Mm -hmm. So I paid a buttload for the shipping. So I bought right. other stuff to help right. make up for it. But I'm yeah. just saying, no, True. I paid that much. <laughs> I'm <forgot>. using it. <laughs> I am using it. Dang they it. traveled halfway across the world. <laughs> So I'm sorry to those of you who said don't start that. I started it. And Dina, we're gonna do Alpine Garden when I finish. The I lilies. like that one. That's one of the the um, shadowings that I'm drawn to. I like that one. You gonna do it too then? Yeah. It's pretty. I'm trying to start family here. I don't got time for that. Or maybe I do. Who knows? <laughs> okay. Um, I'm gonna show you pandemic. I just want to say thank you to everybody who have commented and said that they loved it and stuff. Um, it's kind of one of those things where, like, you're really crappy at doing anything artistic at all, and then you, like, make one cool thing, and then it's like, oh, like, people like it. Like, yeah, I did this one cool thing. I'm proud of myself because, like, this is the only instance in which I did a good thing. Um, that's kind of how it went in ceramics, too. It's like, well, you made one really great thing, and everything else is just kind of like, experienced yeah, that one great thing yet. I'm hoping. What I don't know. You're done. Yeah, you made me. There you I'm go. Steve. That's a better answer. Okay, so anyways, I did um a lot, but honestly, not as much. Yeah, it looks probably better than this. That, that is not the right color. <laughs> oh, is it not the right color? Come on, man. Let me do the paper. Oh, no, but that's it's closer. Weird. Yeah, but that's really like yeah. wine. I know. And this, this is, more purple than is wine. never the right color. This is actually, well, I mean, it is darker. I don't know. Y'all just will never see the real color unless you come visit me at my house. Um, hi. <laughs> find me. Um, that's not, don't. please don't. <laughs> that sounds like a challenge. Not, not in that way. <laughs> accept. Um, I kind of expected that I'd have more time to work on this at work because this is my work piece. Um, but honestly, I don't have any time at all. There's most days I don't stitch it at all. Is your, are you knocking? No, I think it's the wind because okay. he leaves bedroom window open so it makes this. Weird. You're very faint like. Knock, knock, knock. Um, so I don't get to work on it that often. The other times I get to work on it are like the really weirdly slow days, like a random Friday where it's just really, really, really slow. So that is where most of the work came from. But I decided to start working on this diagonal over here and it'll come back down this way. That way I have a better direction of what I need to stitch next and where and how and all that stuff because I'm really paranoid about counting. You need to ask the question. Do you have a way to show it? I'll find it. You keep talking. Okay. Do you have a pandemic question? Apparently, I have a pandemic question. I don't recall what it was. Here you go. Oh, I have a pandemic question. See? Yeah. I'm trying to find it. Okay. All right. Well, here's what I have done. Let me put this behind it so you can see. Is now, as you can tell, I'm using three different colors, and I do it as I go. Is. So I figure out, like, oh, this is a bird. I'm going to do that all one color, but I'm going to make the legs a different color. And, like, it's little peacock head here. I'm going to do it a different color. Please pause. I love you. Thanks for coming home. <laughs> okay. So the way my whole system works is that I have to kind of have a vague understanding of what it is that I'm stitching. Otherwise, I might color things weirdly. So, like... My flowers are yellow. My birds are yellow. You know, all of this stuff is dark. You know, I have highlights of the white. It all makes sense. Okay. Well, as I'm trying to figure out what's going on over here, I'm looking at the pattern on my computer. I'm trying to figure out exactly what this is. And so I was afraid that this would seem rude. I don't want to be rude. Okay. He got candy. Sorry. Um, I just truly don't know what this is, and I'm hoping you guys know what it is. You need to touch it often. It I will. Go away. I will. Okay. I call it the upside down Santa hat pepper. 
I can't tell because this looks like ribbon, this thing that goes up and then comes down and then it comes over here again. That looks like ribbon. And these kind of look like holly berries. It kind of looks like Christmas. But then that's like kind of like a Grinch hat, right? So like, it can't be that, can and it? My feeling is that everything seems to be quite full like if you come and over here in this. Um, oh, I went the wrong way. And so like, I think it's those are like all a berries. pepper or some kind of weird flowery plant thing. There's all these flowers on the edge over here. So yeah, my question to all y'all, because I'm sure some of you have, well, I know some of you are working on this and I'm sure you've gotten to this. Um, can you give me ideas on what that is? I'll accept just good ideas, even if we as a community don't know what it is. It's um, like the splotch. Yeah, give me a good idea and then what I'll color the it that way. And then however I color it, that's how it's gonna live in existence, right? Like that's just how it'll live in my piece. It just needs to look like whatever the thing I'm is. So zoom out a little bit. Well, too late. to have broken it. Yep. <sighs> Sorry. It's the thingy. Yeah, it's at the very top, pretty much middle of pandemic. I wouldn't, I wouldn't call that the middle. Next to the, it's right next to the birdies. Middle left. Yeah, it's just slightly to the left of middle. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, so. What is that? What is it? Do you have anything else? Cause no, not in terms of stitching. I haven't stitched on it. I'm about two weeks behind on my temperature typography. It's gonna be so hard. It's gonna be so hard to finish it. All I have done is the A in April. That's it. I have finishes. Yeah, I know you do. She's like rock star over here. She got organs taken out, and she's like, hey, I got finishes. Well, I was almost done with this one to begin with, so <sighs> this was what I started with because all I had to do was do some back stitching. That one I expected. I thought fully. On drugs, I could do this. Yeah. Like, I'm not a drug addict. Even. You'll hear later, I did have to take another can, though. They gave me another can. Ooh. <laughs> but I'm not a drug addict. So, it's 5 o'clock somewhere. I don't know who it's from anymore because I don't have the, the stuff here because, you know, I'm not going to show you the before and after because this is after. Those mistakes, we won't talk about them. Ooh. So, yeah. That's a finish. I like it. And then, so then the next one I pulled out, so that took me a couple days to finish. So then I pulled this out, and this was my next finish. This I'm is really Shannon excited Christine. about this one. I really need you, need you to frame Christmas. this one. Yeah, I know. I want to frame this, Christmas Sentiments, and then my finish over here. But, yeah. Because oh. I love, 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 love this one. And it needs to be a decoration every Christmas. This is 28 count ale. It's cashel linen. Yeah. Which I don't love that. That no, because it's too even. It's too hard for me to see. I think because it was darker, because turns out I'm using a cashew that mermaid. Oh, is, and that's okay? And it's lighter, and so far it's okay. Okay. So I think maybe because this was dark and the yeah. way it was dyed, it, like, did weird stuff. Yeah. Because finding the holes, like, I really struggled. But isn't it so cute? I absolutely I love, love it. I love it. Shannon Christine. Christmas gnomies. Ooh, I did have to change it to 2021. You think that came out okay? Because oh, I, I forgot. really yes. struggled with where to make that yeah. one because it wasn't a good way to do it. Yeah, no, it looks great. I struggle. I love it. I right, show the people yeah. since we now got it up. Here we go. 2021. Yeah, it works. Works yeah, very good. That, I just, getting that to line up, I, I struggle. Maybe it was the drugs, but <laughs> maybe it wasn't. <laughs> maybe it's me. And then I have one more to finish. And if you were on... Um, Instagram, you saw it. <laughs> like, hold her arm, pull her no, back. Okay, I'll take it off of this. I keep my finishes on a hanger. See, y'all need to follow her on Instagram so that way you get the little oh, sneaky. Hey, this is the spring I was talking about with the tropical. Yeah, tropical waters. Yeah, I'm over there. Yeah, yeah. But you guys really knew about that finish. Okay, stop, stop. And the whole thing stop, about stop. not using masking tape, that's what it looks like after 20 years under masking tape. But you know what? It's I have giant easy. margins, and I don't care. So. And it, that's why they say don't use NC. It's kind of sticky. But, like, that's the fabric's good. You know, I'm going to hold it up for you. Okay. I don't know if you're all going to see the whole thing all at once. Because you're kind of tall. But Villa Mirabilia. I remember this from my childhood, watching her stitch this. So... It's been a long time coming. Yeah, 22 years, I'm guessing, how long that took. Although I took like a 10 plus year break from stitching. 
but I, I did finish that last week and I love it. I would kind of like to have Joe Lintzel, I think that's her name, <laughs> frame it. But the idea of packaging that up and shipping it. Um, Mildly terrifying? Yeah, to Utah, because what if it got lost? My husband's like, just insure it for like $3,000. Then they sign, they take better care of it that way. And I was like, it's worth more than $3,000 to me. Like, yeah. This that's is a 22 whole, years of my life. The little pieces of your life were stitched into it, so. Now this, you might want to show that close up. That is wrong. The purple? Mm-hmm. Somebody um, who also stitched this, she named her as Imogene. She uh, her ear. alerted me to the fact that that purple is a mistake in the pattern. And I guess later patterns were corrected, but I have one from two. You always years have ago. the ones that are the not corrected ones. And so I could take that out and change it, but... You know what? It doesn't bother me. I like it. And I kind of feel like it's a weird earring hair thing. Yeah. So I think I'm going to leave it. Now, I do have a picture I should send to Alyssa. Oh, I think I did send it to you before, but I can send it again so you don't have to search for it. The border didn't line up. Yeah. Oh, I have that picture. The day I was... Oh, I have it. I was finishing it. Was it this side? Yep. I went... I had done from the top over this way, but then I had to finish down here with the, the flowers and then mm -hmm. do this purple that came across. Mm -hmm. So I went ahead and did that, and then I did the thing up, mm -hmm. and I was looking at it's like this for the and I'm thinking, that's not going to match. And I'm like, yeah, well, then I get to like here, and I'm like, that mm -hmm. doesn't look like it's going to match. And Steve had walked in, my son, and he's like, that, that's not going to line up. I was like, yes, it is. Shut up. And then I got to like here, and I was like, Steve... It's not gonna line up. No. So I went right up to it and then I undid up and then I just added an extra stitch. So I don't even know if it lines up right, but I added an extra stitch to knock it out and then come down. So what was gonna take me like an hour to finish ended up taking me a bunch of hours. My stitchy tip for that, and I do it a lot in pandemic because I'm trying to make sure, especially when I was doing these geometric hearts, I had to make sure that you know, I was coming in and then coming back out at the center point, right? Doing these corners in the right spot. So I had to make sure I was actually on the center line. So that way I didn't figure it out once I got all the way back around. And what I do is I just take my needle and I just, I don't want to do it with a snag nab it because, you know, it's a snag nab it. But you just, you know, poke it in whatever hole you're in. And then I just literally push it kind of and drag it through. So, with the, you know, this is sharp, so you can't do it with this. But with the dull needle, you usually do it through the back. If you're applying pressure and then pulling down, you stay in that line pretty easy. And then yeah. you can tell if it's... Yeah. But I yeah. understand your denial of, yeah, no, no, it's fine. It's going to line it's up. Fine. It's going to line up. It's, it's gonna fine. Line it wasn't fine. It, it wasn't fine. But you figured it out. Yeah, I looks did it and you did it. I mean, that's the kind of thing with, in my younger life, I would have, like, put that in time out. And just been like, I'll come back to it. But yeah, then this, I was like, no, it's been in time out for 20 something yeah, years. So, no, it's I need so to finish close. it. This is an out of print pattern. Um, a couple people saw it on Instagram and asked me about selling the pattern. Um, mine is damaged enough that I can't sell it. You wouldn't be able to read parts of it. Just yeah. because you know how memorabilia is, or we'd have to fold out the thing mm -hmm. and all the. I didn't make a working copy back then. I didn't even have access, probably. Yeah, who knows? Computers? Uh, no. Scanny things? Yeah. We put internet, electricity? Yeah. We were using floppy disks back then, so yeah. But um, had I done a working copy, then yeah, maybe I could sell it. But I, I can't sell it. And I don't want to, to be honest. I'm a stingy bastard. There you are. How no, weird. I just have a thing about like if something happened to this and I had to fix it. Yeah. Like, I wouldn't be able to if I didn't have the pet. I know it's crazy. I'm not going to stitch it again. But if you wanted to stitch it one day, you could try. But there's just chunks missing. But but at least I made looking copy when I did. Yeah. So that the bulk of it is salvageable. But those spots that are not. But there you go. she's a big in. She is a big in. She's a big in. Such a big in. But I'm thrilled. Absolutely thrilled that she's finished. A little sad, but thrilled. If you want to watch somebody stitch it, um, Stitch and Mommy, she is working on it. Yeah. She I don't is. I've um, known that. I yeah, yeah. She's that. um, she's mostly green. working up in the greenery up on the top, yeah. but she's also got some of the dress and I think part of the head and stuff yeah. done. And I didn't do it's the one over one. one on the skin. I remember I tried back then because I found out yeah. it was a thing, but what I didn't realize. Um, was that it's not 
You don't do two over the one. You do one over oh. the one. So I had put it in and I took it out. And I put it in, <laughs> took it out. I couldn't figure out what was wrong. So I said I wasn't going to do it. Now, yeah. smuggling me is now aware of what the issue experience. was. You. But, yeah. So, those are Has anyone got anything framed by Jill? I follow her on Instagram. It's beautiful. My sister did because she gave me something. It's downstairs. Good um, question. On the wall there when you walk in the door. Yeah. That was done by her. Yeah. I love that. I actually literally. Jenny, if you're watching this, Aunt Jenny, sorry, that was so informal. Huh. Um, <laughs> um, I oftentimes stop and I stare at it just because yeah. the sheepies really make me happy. But I, I like looking at all of it. I do. I stand. I get right up to it. Mm -hmm. and I just oh look yeah, at no, it. it's like almost nose to glass. Like I'm like, mm, look at yeah. That. Yeah, <laughs> her stitching is like perfect. It, yeah, she gets all the talent in the family. She literally has all of the talent. Yeah. The only thing I did yeah. that she didn't was make you. And Steve. Oh yeah. <laughs> Double whammy for me. I like this. You're so nice to me. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, those are the finishes. Okay. I have haul. <laughs> Let me think someone is crying. Haul. Oh. Um, I'm in the Fabric of the Month from Lilic Stitching. Yes. And this was Coat of Doves. Coté. From Atomic oh, sorry, Ranch flashing. Fabrics. Coté. It, I don't know if you're going to really be able to see. It's not super variegated, so... I'm variegated. Whatever. I say variegated, Whatever. too. It's not super modeled or anything. Yeah. So it, I'm sure I can find something. Because it's a nice, neutrally kind of yep. color. So. Yeah, fold like that. And fold like that. She's so, so that was... Don't, 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 I'll find something. But to get that anchor lip for the mermaid, I had to order from another country. So I got some fabric. Don't fit all the way. Don't fit I don't know way. what it is. I think oh, that's no. the parchment one. Only one was labeled. I think that these are all weak style works. And uh, I think that one's parchment. That's not the correct color you see on the screen. I'm sorry. This is much more yellow. <laughs> Arr! Well, he I'll scared himself. <laughs> um, yeah, you can't tell. It's yellow. I need I punishment promise. for the tall sheep, but I need I need 20 count, I guess, because that's what they did it on. This is so springy. And there's a lot of, um, like, buttons and things, so I think oh, I really... probably do does matter. To, anybody know? Do you really have to do it on the thing to make the buttons fit? Anybody? Tall sheep? I don't remember who it's by, but... Because this, is, I think, is a 32. Not 20. If it was 40, maybe I could make it work, yeah. but... I don't know. Why am I giggling? Me too. Oh. I have another reminder too. He wants me to dust. He wants me to take the trash out. I'm not going to dust. I'm not going to take the trash out. This is Jacob's job. This is corn silk. And I know I needed it. Oh, it but feels I like corn. <laughs> it feels like a corn husk. Oh, it's so raw. No. Oh, I might I'm be your down. dad's. My Daughter. dad's. doesn't bother me at all. It, it's it's just a little... Corn husky! <laughs> no, it's just... It feels it's, like a corn husk! It's stiffer. It's it's stiffer. My husband can't touch microfiber. It freaks him out. Like it, I think because his skin is rough and it like snags. Yeah. And he just, just. So I don't know what I need that for. I know I need it for something because it was on my 1, 2, 3 wish list, which is why I put the things that I need or want. But <laughs> you need. Well, this is need. blush. Very blushing. Blushing. All of these colors are a little bit more washed out on this right now. So, sorry. This is brighter than what you see. Yeah, that's right. You can always, like, just never be afraid to reach out either in comments, DMs, email, whatever. Like, if you want better photos of stuff or, like, more information on stuff, like, please always feel free to contact us. I swear we won't bite. That We're overly nice. Family. In fact, you might just be killed with kindness and you might not ever want to talk to us again because you're like... Okay, they're a little too friendly, a little too open book. Like, that's understandable. But just, if you ever see anything and you're like, I don't know if I like that or not, but I'm interested, like, let us Ask. know. I'll send you all kinds of photos that are better quality. We won't stalk you. No. There's very few people I actually stalk. Very few. <laughs> no warrants out yet. No restraining orders. Oh, I forgot yet. to say on the Afghan, Stitchy Witch 42, Audrey, she's stitching the Halloween ones. Yeah. So is Hallie. Um... Stitching big things with Hallie. She's stitching that as well. And it's a big thing. So I'd say it fits. And Hallie has already done the Christmas one. So uh -huh. And she showed it. I'm not going to tell you which episode because I don't know. But she's super nice too. So she would probably tell you if mm -hmm. you asked. Yeah. 
Um, okay. Which reminds me, I I asked Cocahamas the tree if mm -hmm. she would show play doctor mm -hmm. when I found out she'd done it, and she did. She did it. They did an episode. It was so sweet. So if you're watching, thank you. I really appreciate that. I will eventually pull mine out again. <laughs> I don't know what these are all for. I know what this one's for, and I think all these are for the same. This was an anaconda. My anaconda, don't. My anaconda, don't. My anaconda, don't want none unless you've got buns. Anaconda, don't want none unless you've got buns, hun. Okay, we just lost. It's a everybody. necessary part of the song. Um, it's amethyst anaconda, but it's for the the um, Chatelaine that I may or may not have told you I bought. <laughs> But they don't have a kit for it, so I don't know that you told her about that one. I, I feel like that I told him did. about any of them that I bought in that last sale. I think you did, but then what would you have shown them? Nothing. Yeah, so exactly. I guess not. Shh, nothing happened. This was the one I bought that was just a pattern. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Kit. And then I bought Oriental Helen because that's yeah. the one I'm obsessed with. Yeah. And then. Um, I bought the water garden that my sister's stitching. Hi, yes. sister, if you're watching, I copied you. Because that turned out they don't have a kit kit, but they have pieces of a kit. Mm. And when you put it all together, it's less than $100. And I was like, yes, please. Yeah. So that's what I bought. But I'll show them to you when they come because I'm nice. Okay. Um, first of all, I want to say thank you. Thank you so mm. much. <laughs> this is it. Mm -hmm. This is the end. Um, Thank you to everybody that said nice things, reached out in any way, shape, or form. Uh, Katrina sent me a card that she made. It was amazing. Thank you. Um, lots of cards and, and emails and texts and comments, and, comments and everything. everything. I appreciate that. I am doing well, and I appreciate yeah. all of you. And I appreciate it, too, because going through the recovery and the waiting for her to, like, wake up and stuff, too, it was just, like... Well, the comments didn't come in yet because we hadn't posted the video. But, like, going through the recovery stuff, it's, like, nice to see, like, all the support and whatever. And I feel like you guys like me yeah. a little bit. It's just, it's just good. It's good stuff. It was a rough start. We'll get to that. Some bad stuff happened, but I'm okay. I'm alive. But, got back from the cabin. Mm -hmm. It's yesterday. Mm -hmm. And there was a package mm -hmm. in the mailbox. Yeah. And I was like... I wasn't expecting nothing. I opened it up. Susanna, I didn't ask you if I could show it. Or <laughs> it, but I'm going to. <laughs> Executive decision made. Executive decision. Look what she sent me. Is that not gorgeous? I love colors so much. That is every beautiful color on the planet. All combined like a rainbow and I love rainbows <laughs> thank you there, there's no possible way to thank somebody but do you know yeah. how many Susanna do you know how many hours you put into this we know we're not good at crocheting it's hard it is hard and I was like super up close I'm like that's a double crochet I don't know what that is <laughs> wow yeah no I don't have the skill to do this and and I just appreciate it so much yeah She's walking around the house showing everybody and we're telling her, go sit down! You're overdoing yeah, yourself! It's pretty. I made everybody pet it. Yep. It's beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Such an amazing community. Very grateful. Oop. Whoopity. <laughs> and of course, if I had died, this yeah. would have been Alyssa's. <laughs> right? <laughs> So it wouldn't have gone to waste. <laughs> I really like the comments that were like, yay, you're not dead. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they funny. made me, they made me giggle. So. Okay, Is so we have to do the splotch. Watch. I'm not okay. going to spin. I'm not going to spin. Okay, because now it's mania. So I'm just like spinning every two days. Yeah. But because I have to go to the cabinet, we have two meetings uh, this week. It's not a week, but in the next seven days, yeah. I have two meetings. So. I'm going to be at the cabin for like a week. So I pre-spun so I can have, make sure I had everything ready. So that's why you don't get a spin this time. It's but I'm working so much, I don't need to spin. I just work when I can on projects. In whatever comes after May, which is not April, June. Yes. In June, we'll go back to normal spinning. But for now, I'm right. spinning without y'all. Exactly. So. Spinning without y'all. 
So that's, so we're gonna do the splotch. So this technically isn't stitchy anymore, but like everybody stays through the splotch, right? Yeah, splotch is awesome. And then after the splotch, then we do live stuff. So then so you can then you dip if out you if you want. Yeah. But you have to stay for the splotch. It's mandatory for this community. All right? Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Are you ready? This one was not in the bathroom. This one was outside the bathroom in matching granite somewhere else. In the bedroom. <laughs> yeah. You have to sound creepy. It was outside the bathroom. Yeah, but that sounds like you went like out the window and hung <laughs> off the side of the building. Yeah, you'd be really fancy oh. if you had granite on the side of your building. Okay, I see two things. Okay, we'll give them a moment. Do you think you see what I see? Do you think you see? Yeah. Do you see what I see? I can't see, so just... Ah. I don't really like Christmas songs that No, much. you don't. Okay, go ahead. I see... Okay, I see a mermaid with the tail up, laying on the back, but it's it a man like an alien. with the beard. <laughs> it looks like the alien creature. And I'm like, oh, alien well, versus um, predator. But in mermaid form. Well, okay. I can see... Like the Viking ship kind of Loch Ness monster looking oh, down, yep. and then okay. that's like his tail. Yep. Uh, for me, it's a llama. I could see why you would see a llama. It, it's a llama with like, I don't know, like maybe a horse looking down at it or something. But it's a llama. It's a llama. It's a I llama llama. I could see that. See? Yeah. What do you see? Splotch. Oh, now you, you can leave. See, weren't you glad that you stayed for the splotch? I think you're glad you stayed for the splotch. Watch. We're gonna make life stuff a little quick because yeah. you know she doesn't want to stay on the floor forever. Although she has to, yeah. if you're new, <laughs> hi, welcome. We're totally normal. Um, no. If you're new, I had a hysterectomy oh, flashing again. two Sorry. plus weeks ago. It was Thursday, the 15th of April. Yeah, and um, I was super nervous mm -hmm. that morning, and my husband drove me, and I did all the things I was supposed to do the drinking of the Gatorade and the not the eating of the food and, and, and the bacterial, antibacterial wipey stuff and, and the right clothes and I got there on time. We did everything I was supposed to do. They call us in to check in and she, the woman says, uh, the person who is supposed to be having surgery, like now, now in a few minutes, like a half an hour, didn't show up. Did And they're, they're thinking that maybe I could fill that spot. Would I be okay with that? And I was like, yup. The less I have to sit around the wait, the better. Yeah, absolutely. I don't know what happened, but my uh, surgery is supposed to be at 10, and it wasn't until like 11.15, so that whole early thing, not so much. So, yeah, I don't know what that was. But No. In fact, I'd say they took you late. They did take me late. Like, everything happened late. Yeah. And, and I, I won't go through the whole pre-op thing, but, like, it's scary back there because you're all alone. But then there's, it looks kind of like it does on TV with, like, the desk thing in the middle with all yeah. the binders and stuff stacked oh, on yeah. it. And, and it's, just, it's just not very, like, friendly looking. Yeah. And you end up with, like, a billion nurses. Because Dad got so to go with you in the waiting room. Yeah. But as soon as they took her back, he went home. They and you were there for, like, out. three hours, I swear. You were there for forever. Yeah. Well, my appointment thing, I was supposed to check in at 8. And I didn't go to surgery till like eleven fifteen, nope. so it was it was a long time. Long but time. anyway, um, went back to the surgery thing, and and I remember talking, <laughs> and my surgeon was in there, <laughs> and the anesthesiologist, and a bunch of other people, and that was the strangest looking operating room I've been in. I've been in a few, and that one, yeah, it had like cabinets full of stuff and and it was like a closet i mean it was small huh. and they put me on the table and the table was so narrow i was like i even said how am i gonna not fall off of this like what do you do when it's bigger than people because like i'm not big no, uh -uh. and i couldn't get like my arm just i kept like falling off because there was no space but they were like hooking me on and she's like oh don't worry you'll be fine and then i remember seeing the anesthesiologist and she said i'm gonna go ahead and give you an injection thing in, in my IV, and I said, oh, is that what said? She said, yeah, and that's all I remember. <laughs> that's it. That was it. Then you woke up. Then I woke up. We were getting texts from the hospital. They send you, like, a little report card kind of thing, and it's like, oh, we intubated, and it gives you, like, all of her information, like, how long it took, whether it was easy, what size tube they used, whether it was first try or not, like, like it's way too much information. It, it was kind of uncomfortable, but we're like, ah, She's good now, so we'll just, now we just gotta wait, and so, that's, yeah. And while you were asleep, we were just staring at the phone, like, just waiting for, like, more updates. 
I missed it all. The, well, that's, that's good. the thing with the anesthesia. There is no memory at all. It's not like when you fall asleep and you like you vaguely remember. Oh, I rolled over and blah. I mean, if I rolled over, I would have died. But there's just nothing. 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 Uh, I woke up in recovery. And I, I will admit now, looking back, my memory's sort of sketchy. <laughs> like, I thought I remembered everything perfectly well, but mm, looking back, I'm like, that doesn't make mm-hmm. sense. I have yeah. no idea. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was supposed to stay in the three hours, mm-hmm. but um, that didn't Shh, happen. Wake up. I woke up. Eventually. And I don't think the problem was waking up. No, they called. When they said you were done with surgery, they said, yeah, and she's waking up now. Like, she's good. Yeah. Okay. Normally, I have trouble waking up. I did tell the anesthesiologist that that was a thing. So maybe she did a different mixture or something. I don't know. I woke up, which was well, good. They still said it took a while though. Oh, when okay. they called to update again, they're like, "She's still not really waking up. Like, uh, we're still trying to like get her like uh, yeah, I don't talking well. and stuff." So yeah. I think it still took a little bit. But then the what beyond went beyond the three hours was what you're going to tell yeah. them. So I remember waking up and like. I opened my eyes a little bit, and I said, like, I don't know. And then, I, like, I closed my eyes. And then I remember somebody, there was another standing there, and she said something about my pain. I'm sure there was a lot more that right. happened. But this is what I remember. <laughs> this is what we got. <laughs> and she asked me about my pain, and I had a ton of pain. Like, a lot of pain. And I said, I don't think I was using words. I was like, uh. She's like, okay. And she gave me something for the pain, I assume, because the next time I woke up, I wasn't in as much pain. And she would ask me, like, how I was or whatever, and I was like, that sounds so right. I had a fat lip over here, and I didn't know, uh, she's like, are you thirsty? And I'm like, she's like, yeah, you have a dry mouth, don't you? She's like, let me get you some ice chips, sweetest milk. So she gets me ice chips, and I'm like, "Mm -hmm." so I remember asking at one point, why do I have a fat lip? And she was like, oh. I don't know, maybe when they put the tube in, they hit it or something. And I was like, okay. It feels better now, right? Oh, yeah, it's fine now. Okay, good. It, it took four to five days, and then it went away. <sighs> but uh, I opened my eyes and looked around, and I was immediately dizzy. Mm. So dizzy. And nauseous. Mm. And I felt Which terrible. is my worst fear. <laughs> and I don't remember how things happened i'm going to tell you stuff but it's not in order of how it actually happens because it's how i remember it so they had given me a bag of iv before surgery Mm -hmm. and she and she didn't so you can still kind of see she put it in here instead of down here which surprised me she wrapped it in a warm towel and she was so sweet and she just sat there and like rubbed my arm and talked to me and and then the other nurse was trying to distract me when she stuck it in, but I was watching, so I knew that she stuck it in. It didn't hurt. It really didn't hurt. That's good. It was no big deal. Yeah, because you're worried about that. A little bit, because yeah. when I had Steve, the IV they gave me was incredibly painful. But even after, to everything, it was still hurt. Um, so the IV were like wasn't a big deal, but they'd given me a bag of it before. And then at one point, the nurse told me that they'd given me three bags in recovery. So I had kind of a full bladder, and I remember saying to her, like, I need to go to the bathroom. And she was like, okay, no big deal, we'll help you. And so she helped me to sit up, and when I sat up, the universe tumbled in every different direction, and I thought I was going to die. And I, I closed my eyes, and I put my hand on the side of the bed, and I said, oh, oh no, that's not okay. She's like, what's wrong? And I said, really dizzy. And I said, just give me a second. And I just sat there with my eyes closed. And I was like, this isn't this isn't getting better. But I was like, okay, let's try again. So I went to get up to get in the wheelchair. And I was like, uh-uh, not going to happen. And I said, I, I'm so dizzy. I can't. And I was shaking like a chihuahua. Shaking, shaking, shaking. I mean, it was like having a seizure. Mm-hmm. Like, it, my entire body was shaking. So they put me in a heated... It's like a, a blanket. I was like, well, I want to take this home. She's like, well, it won't do any good without the heat. <laughs> it's like a, almost like a metal blanket, but they have this big tube they attach, uh-huh. and it's heat, and it just, like, That's kind of nice. And so I was, I was in <laughs> So she said, let me get you a bedpan. And I was like, okay. And so she comes back over. She's like, here's the bedpan. She helped me roll over. She's like, 
honey, it's okay. She's like, when you go, it's going to get all over the place. She's like, it's okay. I'll clean you up. I have everything here. We'll protect the bed and everything. Don't worry. You just go ahead and do it. I will get you all cleaned up. Like she was so sweet, so sweet. And she walked away. I could feel, I could feel like, do you want it to go? It went all the way to like the edge and like stuck its toe out and, went, mm -mm, and sucked back up. I could not go. And so she came back and she's like, you, you can't? And I was like, I, I don't know what's wrong. Like I can feel it, but I can't. She's like, okay, I'm gonna page the doctor. So apparently she tried to call my doctor. I don't know what happened because I'm just trying not to pass out because dizzy. Every time I opened my eyes, everything would spin. And they would bring people, other people in and they would announce when people came in, like this is room 651 or whatever is actually operating. This is operating room two. And they would bring a bride and I'd want to look to see what they look like. But every time, oh, 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 oh. so I didn't look at people. And, and my surgery was actually in the labor and delivery mm -hmm. um, because they were remodeling one of the operating rooms. So they sent me off to labor and delivery. So I actually had to go upstairs and way far away where everybody else was just close. But I had a travel. I didn't get to see any babies. I was really hoping I was going to get to see babies. No babies. I'm sorry. So, um, they couldn't get a hold of the doctor for whatever reason. Or if they did, I don't know, because I think they were probably going to try to put in a catheter. And um, so she came back. She said, the anesthesiologist um, wants me to give you Nilocan. And I was like, okay. She said he thinks that, because mine was a woman, so she's obviously contacted some other anesthesiologist. Mine's probably doing something with someone else again. And so she said he thinks that it, it might be the... Um, the narcotics that are causing you to feel like this. So we're going to give you some another can. And I said, I think I said, I'm not a drug addict. <laughs> she, she's like, yeah, it's okay. So she injected, it was supposed to be point four, and she injected point two, and then she stopped and she said, oh. So this must have happened before I had to go to the bathroom. So if I'm telling you, it doesn't make any sense. And she said, oh, if you're going to go to the bathroom, we don't want to make it so it's painful for you. You know, when we stop the drugs, reverse them with the nerve can because nerve can is for like people that overdose on drugs i think they usually do it in your nose but Her i had mouth. A, yeah, yeah mine was injectable um into my iv i think um and it counteracts the op opioids so it, it's like some people bounce back to life you like it's yeah, crazy yeah, yeah. so she didn't want me to have to walk around in pain. So she's like, well, I'll just do the half now. And that's when I went to get up and I couldn't. So then she went ahead and injected the other half. And then a little while later, I felt slightly less dizzy. So I was like, let's let's just try it again. Cause I didn't really want to be catheterized and I couldn't get a hold of the doctor and whatever. You have to pee. So <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, it was very uncomfortable. I had to pee. That's a lot of IV fluid. Yeah. So she brought the wheelchair over again and she helped me. It was a 27 step process and I got in it. And so she started to push me, like I just being upright. I was so nauseous. And she was like, do you want to go back? I was like, no, let's just get this over with. She had set up the whole bathroom already. She had the door propped open. She kept everybody away. She had the paper on the seat. She had the catchy thing that you pee into, which I didn't even see. She was so ready. And she helped me up. The second my butt cheeks touched that thing, and she was like, oh, Good job! Yay! <laughs> so you're trying not to vomit. Yeah. yeah, and so I was just, I was so sick. And so she went to take me back and I was like, I have to look where we're going to keep from getting even more emotion sick. But at the same time, having my eyes open was making me sick. And so I was, she kept like stopping. I was like, just go, just, just get me back to the bed. Cause the only time I felt kind of okay is if I was laying down with my eyes closed. So I was like, just, just. so we got, back into bed so it was a lot of that because I had to go to the bathroom a, a lot but but she left and the other nurses weren't as good as her but at one point before she took me to the bathroom I'm laying there shaking because even with the heat I'm just I'm shaking and I'm so sick and I'm just miserable and I got the fat lip and, I'm, 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 and she's petting my arm and she says oh honey I'm so sorry she said I have never seen anyone have every adverse reaction to anesthesia before she's petting me on <laughs> <laughs> and I googled it when I got home and I literally had every single adverse reaction you could have which you can imagine concerns me as the offspring of this well, creature I've, I've had surgery other times and just had trouble waking up and, and a little nausea but, but I had told the anesthesiologist that I get nauseous and that 
I'm allergic to Finnegan, which is what they inject when you're nauseous. So they couldn't give me that. So they gave me uh, Zofran, apparently, but it wasn't doing enough to help. And they hadn't given me a scopolamine patch, and I don't know why. But when I was laying there at one point, a nurse came by, and they had just put an emesis bag on my chest in case I needed to throw up, which I haven't thrown up 20-something years, so I'm not going to throw up. Knock on wood. But, um, <laughs> yeah. A Sounds nurse was weird. walking by, and she said, is she nauseous, too? And my nurse was like, yeah. She's like, everybody on this side of the room is nauseous today. It's really strange. I don't know. Well, why? I don't know. <laughs> but the woman next to me, she had thyroid surgery. Because you can hear everyone talking, you know. And not everyone's there for the same purpose. No. It's all no, recovery, no, 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 no. so it's all just... No. Did you know if you have a pacemaker, you're awake for that? I didn't know that. The guy didn't look right at me had a pacemaker. He wasn't nauseous because he didn't go under. But, um, that was in... in pre-op I don't know who was next to me and post-op but um she had thyroid surgery and she was so sick she was probably as sick as I was except that she was moaning and crying and you could hear her That's I was me just when silent I'm really and still and she's just all oh, oh. I hate it so much and they they you know kept coming over to check on the chef they gave her a shot of filling in and she was out of there in like an hour it I didn't leave until Six See, or seven. I think I was... want to try it, but I'm terrified that I I will be allergic or have an adverse reaction like you did. Yeah, like I, I want know. them to test it now. I wonder if that's something I can ask Luna. Hey, is that something they give you? Well, you know, during labor and stuff, is that one of the anti nausea things they give you? And if so, can you like give me a dose of it now? Can you just like shake me up a little? Yeah. <laughs> to see if I have a problem with it. I don't know. Uh, but hours passed, and they were updating my husband. Excuse me, because he was supposed to pick me up, I think, at 5? Yeah, it looked, it was looking like 5 was probably going to be pick-up time, because it should have been closer to, like, yeah, I mean, I guess it probably should have been 5, so, because you yeah. went under at, like, 11.30. Yeah. So, so yeah, like it should have been about 5, and I, five. W- it was, what, 6.37? Yeah, I don't know, I was going to stay, I, I, we hung out for a little bit, and we're like, hey, maybe we should just leave and go to the parking lot, so now even they say, we, you know, we can pick her up, we can just pick her up right then and there. So we're sitting on the sofa just waiting to, like, kind of decide to go. And then that's when they called and said, yeah, she's not going to be ready for a little bit. So we'll call you when it gets closer. So I left. But I want to say you got home at, like, 8 or 8.30. So that's probably you got called around 7. 7, 7.30, something like that. Yeah. Well, the thing was when they called him, and fi- finally I was just like, I just want to go home. I just want to go home. So they helped me get dressed and everything. I was still so nauseous, so sick, but I was tired of going to the bathroom because it's so hard to get there and go back. And if I could just go home, I could lay in the recliner, I could go to the bathroom myself. Well, I would need help, but you know. Yeah, yeah. In your own home, in your own safe space, without strangers. And every time I came back, they they reattached the IV. So it's more the bags of food. I'm just like, are you filling me up? This isn't trying to wash away your nausea. She was saying, you know, lots of fluids should help. So we're going to keep giving you fluids. And I'm thinking, well, but it's making things worse. Yeah. So I said, I just want to go home. So they called him. They got me dressed. But the problem was sitting up. I was so sick. So they sat me up. I went to the bathroom and I sat up for a while. They got somebody to come get me, a transport person to take me out. But I guess he was at the end of his shift. And so I was his last thing. Well, they gave me a shot of Zofran, right? Because I had to wait six hours after the last one. And so... They gave me the shot right before I went to leave, and I got so much sicker. And and all the nurses were gathered around, and I was just like, it's worse, it's worse. And so they were trying to, like, tell the guy to cancel himself, and so that I, they were going to put me back in bed and all that. I was like, no, no, I just want to go home. I just want to go home. And they're like, you should? I'm like, yes. So he pushed me out, and I was, oh, the whole time. I was quiet, but I was just bent over. And, well, not bent, but... No, no, no. She, she does silent suffering. It's just closed eyes and... And so he took me out, and then he's like, what vehicle are we looking for? And of course, I said the wrong one first, because I didn't know what my husband was driving, but then I saw it. And I said, oh no, it's that truck over there. And I saw my husband standing outside the truck. We pulled up. He was gone. There was nowhere to be found. So the wheelchair guy was like, this one? I'm like, yeah. And he unlocks the door, and I went to stand up, and I turned around, my husband's behind me. It turned out he saw me, and he went to go meet me, but the guy turned and went a different way. And so my husband lost him, and... and he, whatever yeah so I climb in and I immediately started crying because I was so glad to be out of there and I was miserable and I hear a voice behind me hi how are you doing and I was like Steve came Steve hi (laughs) 
my husband got in from crying. He's like, are you okay? I'm like, yes, just get me home. And he said, like, please, please be careful going down turns. I'm so sick. Like, so nauseous. Just, just go visibly. You just, you just want to get there. It's like sex because you know you probably won't feel 100% when you get there. Like, it's not something to be a magic pill, but it's just like... Something you can look forward to when you yes. just feel so miserable. Yes, just get me home, please. So I remember him telling me, um, Dr. Luna, she's my surgeon, She when she called to say you had a surgery, mm-hmm. she told me to make sure that I told you that um, it was a lot wo- a lot worse. I don't know what the word is. It was, it was a lot bigger. It was a lot bigger. And then she um, said, Julie will be, you need to let her know. She'll be happy to know that the fibroids were a lot bigger than we thought in the scans. Okay. I just knew there was something, I don't remember it, fuzzy. Something yeah. was different than what the ultrasound had showed. And she said, make sure you tell her that she did the right thing. I the would s- have advised yeah, that she get a hysterectomy. Yeah, the symptoms made more sense now, what she was saying. And yeah. I would have advised her to get a hysterectomy. So I had asked her before to please take pictures. Now I'm gonna send the list of the pictures. Okay. She can put them in. Yeah. But there won't be a warning first that this is the inside of my body. Right. And it's through if this makes you feel better, because I wasn't sure what they meant by yeah, we'll take photos. Like, is it gonna be a picture of a uterus on like a you know table platter <laughs> kind of thing? Yeah, like no no no. It's all from the lap because it was done laparoscopically. It's all from the cameras that they use to do it. So it's it's a I didn't think I wanted to see them, but I saw them and I was fine with it. It's just, you know, little cameras. Little round things. And I didn't know I had a cyst. Nobody knew I had a tubal cyst. Yeah, but and you had those pictures. She, she labeled them all. She was so excited I wanted pictures. I'm like, take pictures of everything. She's like, do you still have an appendix? I said, yeah. She's like, sometimes it'll peek out and I can get a picture of it. I was like, okay. She didn't get my appendix, but she got my liver and small intestines and I think gallbladder or something. Yeah. So those are labeled in there yeah, too. Yeah. But we'll put a, a warning before, but um, yeah. it, it's, it's just interesting. But you can see the vaginal cup because they took my cervix. They took the uterus, the cervix, and the fallopian tubes. They just left my ovaries. And when they take the cervix as well, mm-hmm. it... <laughs> It's called a vaginal cuff they have to make where they kind of put all the ligaments and everything. They kind of sew it all together and, and close it up. Yeah. And so you, that's why you have to be super careful for like six weeks and like no, you know, winky winky for 12 weeks and, and stuff. Because if that opens, your bowel can fall out and you'll also hemorrhage and you can die. It's an emergency. So for two weeks, I couldn't like go to the cabin yeah. in case that happened. I needed to be close. Um, so that's why no lifting, no pushing, no pulling, no bending, right. nothing like that. So that's the big fear that I think everyone that has a shoulder she lift has yeah. is, is this thing going to rip open? So um, you can see that in her. She shows before when it's like all open and then she shows after. Pretty interesting. It's but, cool. um, so I have an appointment on the 13th to see her and that's the one so that Lisa do I. <laughs> gets to go to. So I'm going to try to find out then what what she actually found in yeah. the yeah, yeah. But, um, we'll so see yeah, if I'm, she thinks I'm, I'm fertile. I hope yeah. she can see my scans from before. I don't know if she can. If it's Kaiser, she can. Well, so hopefully she can pull those up and advise, yeah, yeah. you have a no real uterus and ovaries and stuff. Yeah. And then I'll just like casually mention that my stomach feels like it's burning a hole and dripping acid in my abdomen. And we'll just see if she like thinks it's concerned. Because I feel like she's, she's like, going to urgent care. Like urgent care, that just seems like something you shouldn't go there for. So She had a history of me two years ago, so she like totally understands and she's so sweet. I love her. I like the way she was treating her, so I was like, switch me, because I didn't, yeah. like, have an official OBGYN, but there was, like, I had a dude for a while, and, like, it's fine, but, yeah, I feel I like they don't understand. Dude. Yeah, they have big saying. fingers, so when they do the exams and stuff, I had one actually tell me once, ooh, you're really tight, or something like that, it was like, oh, okay, thank you, creepy. You want to talk about creepy and really get the kids out of the room. <laughs> <laughs> when I was pregnant with... Steve, Steve, I think. Yeah, I was trying to think where I was, and it was it was here. I, I was pregnant with Steve, and I went to the, you know, OB like you always do, and he did a public exam like they always do, and he's like, oh, you're really moist. <laughs> I was like, like, what are you supposed to respond? And he's like, sometimes that's normal when you're pregnant. But I thought he was like saying like, do you think I'm hot? You're like, I don't, I, I'm pregnant. Right now I have no control over yeah. anything that's happening. <laughs> Sorry, TMI, but like, that's I, weird. I don't poke around, so right. I don't. That's I, what I'm saying too. Like with the guy telling me, "Oh, like it's so tight." Like, what am I supposed to say to that? Like, well, your fingers are big. Like, get out of there. I mean, I don't know what to tell you. 
kill. And then Finn, who, she had some blood drawn, and the woman went to stick the needle in, and she's like, the needle's almost the same size as your vein. Oh! She freaked out. She's like, why would anyone tell you anything like that? <laughs> Anyway, good I'm, I'm good. It, the first few days were a little bit left, but really, after coming home and going to the bathroom and being able to get up and... What was the worst of it? Th- yeah, having Mostly. a recliner. If you're going to have surgery, get a recliner because mm. it helps. The gas pain was terrible. It was like elephants on my chest. Every my day I'd ask her, how's your oh. elephants? <laughs> that, that was on. That took like a week to get yeah. rid of. That was awful. But, yeah. but every day was like a new problem. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like you didn't know what the next day was going to be. Like, that day was great, but this hurts now. They're like, is she doing better? I'm like, ah. Every day is just a new day. It's just a different problem every day. Like, yeah, she's feeling better, but, like... Overall, <laughs> it's a surgery I would probably recommend. Like, it was easier than any other surgery I've had, but... Just do better under anesthesia, yeah. why don't Ooh, you? that waking up was not pleasant, so... No. But anyway, I'm good. So thank you for all the love, and I'm sorry that that was a long story, but... But for all of y'all who've been following it for so long, there's your... I mean, not conclusion conclusion. I'm sure there's like, Most of the more follow-ups or whatever, but there you go. Yeah. Hi Stitchy friends, I'm going to insert the photos now of the inside of Julie's abdomen. Um, like I said, they're not that bad. I recommend looking at them, but warning, they're they're here now. We're going to put them here now. Are we done? I think we're done. Are we done? We are done. Can we go eat a mac and cheese now? Well, it's not here yet. Oh, shocks. Okay. (laughs) I'm going to do this for the rest of the next episode. I think I might have just switched to an Australian accent. Oh, we're back to English. (laughs) It's not any of those. I told you my sister has all the talent in the family. (laughs) My sister and my mom. It's not me. It's not her. I'm so special. I'm so special. Really special. Okay. And if any of you are going to have a hysterectomy and have any questions, mm. I am an open book, as you can tell. I told you about being moist. I, I, yeah. I, I, I told you you can ask us anything. 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 I'm going to send those pictures to you. Poodles, guys. I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.